This time I decided to tell you a few, just a few very important, very, very important things before you start to play. I call the, all this, uh, are you really ready to play? Because people never do the test for good ceiling here, people never do the test, good ceiling here and other stuff. I recommend from time to time do this simple and quick test. It's really simple. We are trying to test this ceiling here because this is two pieces. For us one piece, body and the neck, but in reality this is two pieces uh, connected by using epoxy glue which is very good long lasting but nothing is forever we don't know if we have a small crack here and very small leakage here we will have big problem later because it's very difficult to notice this leakage and we'll have problem with playing thinking who knows what the problem is before we find this. It's easier from time to time to do that test. How I do this? I have one cork. I close this big hole on the bottom and simply close all my holes, my fingers as always, and blow. No leakage. Test done. Perfect. I'm lucky. Let's go forward. No. Some people are new and still don't have a... Uh, not simply not familiar yet with the closing holes and they don't trust to their fingers. There is a solution. Don't trust to your fingers. Even me. Why to trust to my fingers? Put one tape here and seal it very well and another piece of I have ready tape here for you okay like this and stick it very well we don't want leakage here okay I think it's perfect now blow Perfect. So, we are lucky, we can go to the next step. Next test is to test this cork. Is it good enough? Do we have leakage or not? Put the mouthpiece on place. All right. But before we do this test, we have to check very well, double check our read. We need the read perfectly straight. Check it like the carpenters do. Look at that way. This edge is okay, this edge is okay. And all right, I don't see any cracks, any damages on the top. Okay, we can put it on place. From that point, we are fine. Put it on place. When I am telling you, putting on place, what place? Right place. What is the right place for the read? Depends of the person. It's an individual. Everybody prefer other position. This is very small differences. But I don't like your position, you don't like mine. What's going on? I'm uh, talking about position of the reed. How high or low is this top uh, line? My uh, position I prefer is when I put my reed a little bit higher than the mouthpiece line is and you see, when the reed, the top line of the reed is visible from this side, I'm happy. This is my position. But we want 
in the same time, when we are putting the mouthpiece on place, we want our saxophone in tune, and we know for this, this mini saxophone to be in tune, we need exactly the distance from this point to this point. Oh, I didn't remove this. All right. This distance is uh, 15 and 3 quarters inches or 400, 400 millimeters. From what point to what point? From the bottom of the body, this edge, to not to the mouthpiece, to the reed stop line. Reed stop line and the bottom. This is the distance we are measuring. So if everybody put this reed everywhere, up, down, up, down, they have to measure. All saxophones are, are different. So you have to readjust if you put in your position mouthpiece up, down, up, down to find exactly the position and have saxophone in tune. This is really important if you like your saxophone in tune. So, okay, we put the reed on place. Next is up with the cork on place. We are testing our cork here, sealing, sealing between the neck and the mouthpiece. Blow. Perfect. Okay, if you don't trust to your fingers, do the same thing. Put tape here and tape here and blow, you will see. So these tests are really quick and easy and I am sure uh, without this test everybody will have some time problem about these leakages. Uh, they are not noticed cannot notice easy this. This is the right way how to, to do that. That's all for now. So I hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.